a ubiquitous neurotransmitter that carries signals between brain cells, dopamine, among its many functions, is involved in multiple aspects of cognitive processing. The chemical messenger has been extensively studied from the perspective of external cues, or deterministic signals. Previous research has offered circumstantial evidence that Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, contains more water than all of Earth's oceans put together. However, temperatures there are so cold that the water on the surface is frozen solid. Also, Ganymede's ocean is thought to be 100 miles below the moon's crust. This means that the water vapor discovered by Hubble is not likely to represent the evaporation of this ocean. The Southerners' rejection of Lincoln as president was influenced by various reasons rooted in history. Southerners aimed to safeguard their rights within the government and sought greater independence from the North. They perceived presidential elections as unfair and believed that their own rights would be disregarded and restricted. These factors ultimately led to the secession of the Southern states and marked the onset of the Civil War. In 1861, Matthew Brady, a renowned portrait photographer, approached President Lincoln seeking permission to freely travel across the country and photograph the Civil War. Lincoln granted Brady permission to accompany the Union armies anywhere and through his documentation of the conflict. Brady brought the horrors of war home to millions of people. As introverts are thinking, they reach back into long-term memory to locate information. An introvert will often compare old and new experiences when making a decision, 
which slows the processing down but leads to carefully thought-out decisions. This means that introverts have an active dialogue with themselves and usually walk around with many thoughts in their minds. As we progress into the 21st century, communications are becoming faster and faster. Think of the millions of different media images you are bombarded with every day. It is as important now to be able to read and make sense of those images as it has been to be able to read ordinary text. A study found that the research funded by the soft drinks industry had different results from research funded by other sources and went on to suggest that they may have been biased by the research itself. The whole point of the scientific method is to ensure the research results are not influenced by the source of funding. The transition from the brick-and-mortar structure to click-and-order model started with the emergence of information technology and its use in the financial sector. The use of technology in banking has resulted in availability of multiple delivery channels like ATMs, telebanking, internet banking, and mobile banking. Tasmania is a large and relatively sparsely populated island off the south coast of Australia. The island is of particular interest to natural scientists, who go there to research the unique wildlife. Tasmania has, for example, 12 species of bird that are not found anywhere else in the world.
Aboriginal people are believed to have arrived as early as 60,000 years ago, and evidence of Aboriginal art in Australia dates back at least 30,000 years. Several states and territories had their origins as penal colonies, with the first British convicts arriving at Sydney Cove in 1788. The sad truth is that happy sounds are infectious. Now comes research that at least partly explains why. It was published this week in the Journal of Neuroscience. A British research team played various sounds, including laughter to people who are having their brains scanned by a functional MRI machine. All the sounds activated the premotor cortical region of the brain, an area preparing facial muscles to move. The scientists say this is the first documented instance of nectar that attracts a particular animal assistant being produced outside of a nectary. In fact, the observed nectar bleeding might actually be an early system that evolved to include the nectaries found in other plants today. Surgical site infections are caused by bacteria that get in through incisions made during surgery. They threaten the lives of millions of patients each year and contribute to the spread of antibiotic resistance. In low- and middle-income countries, 11% of patients who undergo surgery are infected in the process. The Roman state was tested almost to destruction by the defeat at Cannae by the Carthaginians led by Hannibal, and according to the historian Polybius, it was only what he called the peculiar virtues of the Roman constitution that allowed it to survive this crisis.
We understand the importance of supporting and restoring biodiversity, and we are teaming up with the world's leading molecular biologists, technologists, conservation biologists, conservation organizations, ethicists, and thought leaders to call for intended consequences to help us safely use all of the available tools that can provide the advantage we need to turn the tide on species loss. Nell and his colleagues took to the Everglades at night, hunting for gators near and far from nests. You have to use a spotlight and you see the little demon eyes shining out of the marsh. They lassoed the gators, pulled them into the airboat, and took blood samples and body measurements. Early in the 19th century, Wordsworth opposed the coming of the steam train to the Lake District, saying it would destroy its natural character. Meanwhile, Blake denounced the dark satanic mills of the Industrial Revolution. The conservation of the natural environment, however, did not become a major theme in politics until quite recently. English colonies emerged along the eastern seaboard for a variety of reasons. People, primarily men, originally migrated to Virginia to find gold and silver to make a quick profit. After it became evident that there were no precious metals in the area, men came to Virginia to start cultivating cash crops like tobacco. Prolonged exposure to loud noise alters how the brain processes speech, potentially increasing the difficulty in distinguishing speech sounds, according to neuroscientists. Exposure to intensely loud sounds leads to permanent damage of the hair cells, 
which act as sound receivers in the ear. Once damaged, the hair cells do not grow back, leading to noise-induced hearing loss. Participating regularly in physical activity has been shown to benefit an individual's health and well-being. Regular physical activity is important in reducing the risk of chronic diseases, such as heart disease and stroke, obesity, diabetes, and some forms of cancer. The National Physical Activity Guidelines for Adults recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity physical activity, preferably every day of the week, to obtain health benefits. This report includes a huge swathe of macroeconomics, such as the effects of tax reform, a new industrial policy, and understanding how to deal with the uncertainty inherent in global financial market. But it also covers key areas of microeconomic policies, such as boosting laggardly rates of productivity. Many individuals have unwittingly contributed to this book through sharing ideas with us as colleagues, students, practitioners, tourists, and residents of destination areas. They are too numerous to think individually. And indeed, it is not possible to isolate exactly their specific contributions. It is normally expected that the final version of your thesis, which must be submitted to the university library in both hard copy and electronic form, will be freely available to the public. Once in the library, your thesis may be consulted, borrowed, and copied in accordance with the regulations.
The committee would also like to express its gratitude to the independent assessors who joined the committee for consideration of each case. Their expertise and advice play a vital role in our work. A list of independent assessors who attended meetings during this reporting year is included at Appendix D. We can see from the x-rays that at an early stage of painting, a window was painted at the left of the portrait. It seems that there may have been two windows in the initial design for the portrait or that the window was moved at an early stage. Environmental, individual, and social traits of free-ranging raccoons influence performance in cognitive testing. Shy raccoons are better learners than bold ones, a result that has implications for our relationship with urban wildlife. Researchers found that couples with higher satisfaction in their relationship had greater neural synchronization while watching marriage-related clips, but they don't know whether there is selection-based behavior arising from similar brain activity or whether couples evolve over time to develop it. Association between meatless diet and depression, participants who excluded meat from their diet were found to have a higher prevalence of depressive episodes as compared to participants who consumed meat. This association is independent of socioeconomic and lifestyle factors and nutrient deficiencies.
The COVID-19 pandemic is linked to the early onset of puberty in some girls. Several studies suggest that the number of girls starting puberty early has more than doubled amidst the coronavirus outbreak, and experts are unsure about exactly why. Every few seconds, our eyelids automatically shudder, and our eyeballs roll back in their sockets. So why doesn't blinking plunge us into intermittent darkness and light? New research shows that the brain works extra hard to stabilize our vision, despite our fluttering eyes. When our eyeballs roll back in their sockets during a blink, they don't always return to the same spot when we reopen our eyes. The role of women in promoting voluntary medical male circumcision uptake, research reveals the important role played by women in influencing men to undergo circumcision. Women are also motivated to convince men to undergo male circumcision because of the benefits associated with them, such as reduction of HIV transmission and cervical cancer. In every cultivated language, there are two great classes of words which, taken together, comprise the whole vocabulary. First, there are those words with which we become acquainted in daily conversation, which we learn from the members of our own family and from our familiar associates, and which we should know and use even if we could not read or write. When someone commits a criminal act, we always hope the punishment will match the offense. But when it comes to one of the cruelest crimes, animal fighting, things rarely work out that way. Dog fighting victims are tortured and killed for profit and sport, 
yet their criminal abusers often receive a minimal sentence for causing a lifetime of pain. Bolstered by the results of laboratory experiments, researchers dare to say that gaming might be mentally enriching. These scholars are the first to admit that games could be addictive, and indeed, part of their research explores how games connect to the reward circuit of human beings. Despite many similarities with literary political debates in other nations, there are also ways in which the cultural and political situation in Scotland has left the study of Scotty SH literature in a significantly different condition from that of literary studies in many other parts of the world. An environment of rapid change, technological innovations, and increasing business competitiveness has highlighted the growing importance of management development. In particular, the general movement towards great employee involvement and making things happen through people has emphasized an integrating rather than a controlling style of management. The central idea of this book concerns our blindness with respect to randomness, particularly the large deviations, why do we, scientists or non-scientists, hotshots or regular Joes, tend to see the pennies instead of the dollars? Why do we keep focusing on the minutiae? Not the possible significant large events, in spite of the obvious evidence of their huge influence?
Psychology is the study of cognitions, emotions, and behavior. Psychologists are involved in a variety of tasks. Many spend their careers designing and performing research to understand how people behave in specific situations, how and why we think the way we do, and how emotions develop and what impact they have on our interactions with others. Efficiency is not your friend when it comes to cognitive growth. In order to keep our brains making new connections and keep them active, you need to keep moving on to another challenging activity as soon as you reach the point of mastery in the one you were engaging in. Using artificial intelligence, researchers can create photorealistic images from three-dimensional scenery, paving the way for better driving simulators and better testing of driverless cars.